Oh my god, I look so fucking ashy. Like I shouldn't be doing this at all. What's up guys? What's up? What's good? I haven't went live in a minute. I honestly haven't. Like what y'all niggas been up to? Ask me questions, ask everything, bro, because, like, I just, I feel like talking. How's my day? My day, I mean, I'm still to the, hold on, damn. I went to the doctor the other day. I went to the urgent care, and they prescribed me some z pack and, like, I'm on my second day taking it, and, like, you get a side effect every day. It's weird. It's like, um, it's, it's like, I don't know, it's, it's weird. I can't even compare it to some shit, you know? You get a side effect every day. Cali, Cali's cool. I mean, I've just been sick in Cali, so. Music, I don't know when I'm going to drop something. I don't know when I'm going to drop. I want to drop, but I don't know when I'm going to drop. But honestly, I dropped a lot of music like these past few months, so I'm kind of cool that I'm stacking up my music right now. So I'm taking Zans. Nigga, Zans ain't no... This nigga said Zans is what you call it. Z-Pack. I look so horrible. I look like shit. I'm signed? Shit. I don't know. I don't know if I'm signed or not. I don't know. Miss my reactions. I miss. I low key miss doing them too. Psych. I hate them shit. <laughs> I hated doing that shit. I love my channel. My channel's not even there. I mean, my channel's there, but it's just there for no reason. I mean, it's not there for no reason. I'm gonna. Re I'm gonna drop something. You know. EPs on SoundCloud. I deleted them. They're gone. Don't be... Oh, never mind. I ain't finna read that shit because niggas want me to be for people. I ain't finna say nothing on that. Um, actually, to be honest, right now, I'm low-key freeforming. To be real, I'm low-key freeforming now because I haven't had a retwist in, like... I'm talking about my hair, by the way. I haven't had a retwist since fucking April... And it's like October now, so it's been about seven months that I haven't had a retwist. What time is it? It's 5.19 here. Best album dropped. What you talking about? First concert, I can't say anything about that yet. So, yeah, y'all just got to figure out soon. I miss when you watch your YouTube coming, so I hated that shit because everybody talks shit about me. Like this is the thing. Like people want me to go back to that platform, but all niggas did was talk shit about me. And then, like, get mad when I leave. Like, I don't understand. Like, most of the people that were, like, extremely, like, mad or they didn't even, like, look at my videos and respecting other people more than me, in my opinion. And then they still gonna, like, fucking bash me and shit. So I was like, nah. I'm gonna do some shit that I fucking enjoy instead of, like, doing it for people that don't really care about me. Like, people don't care until you're gone, so... Trolls. This is the thing though. The trolls were more the trolls were more like coming in more than the fans. So nobody cared until I left. At least y'all got other y'all got other reactors and shit that y'all can watch that are better than me. Because according to my watch, my views were falling. I was falling off and niggas was getting bigger, so apparently they were better. 
So I just got off the fucking sinking ship and did something that'll change my life. Like, I'm in L.A. now. Fuck. It's so hard to fucking hold my phone. I'm good. I just want stuff to start. I, I hate sitting around doing nothing. But eventually things will work out. What am I going to blow up? I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to blow up. I'm just, it's just going to fucking happen. It's just going to happen. I don't got any features. Um, I don't think so. I I don't have any features at the moment. I haven't worked with anybody. I've been working with talented ass producers though. Really talented ass producers. Editing editing was cool. Music videos, I don't know. I'm pretty sure I got something. I, I don't I haven't done anything with music videos or anything. Hard break to feature Young Garzi. Young Garzi's hard. Garzi's hard. That'd be cool. We'll drop a dope song. What do you do for money if you ain't working? Shit. I don't know. What do I do? It's obvious, right? What's my verse left off slime language? What you think? You thought I was on slime language? What makes you think I was on slime language? Yeah, I worked with Taz before. <laughs> Any more songs on Elevator? Um, I don't know. Well, I got you and I on Elevator. What's up, most talented rapper on YouTube? I'm done. I'm not. I'm not a rapper. I'm more of an artist. But and I don't don't even don't even like don't even like accumulate or put me in that category. To be honest, don't put me in that YouTube category because I'm not doing that shit no more. None of these YouTubers really fucked with me that much, so therefore, I was never on YouTube. To be honest, and nobody can like ever like compare me to them because I'm way better than anybody that was on there. And that's not even on no arrogant shit. That's just like how I feel. Because ain't nobody on YouTube is, like, making numbers like me. Unless you're, like, other big, other niggas. Like, I mean, of course, like, DDG and shit. Or, like, Queen. You know, they're doing what they're doing. But I'm just saying, my music is, like... I mean, personally, I just feel like my music is, like, all around better than anybody. So, I mean, that's how I'm supposed to think. That's how everybody should think if you rap. But I just feel like my music is better than a lot of niggas. And I don't get the credit yet. But I mean, I do get the credit because, you know, I got numbers and shit. I just didn't have a music video yet. Yeah, Thug is one of my biggest idols. Thug is always going to be one of my biggest idols. Same with Kurt. Same with Post. Same with a lot of artists that are, like, up there. Like Frank Ocean. He's one of my idols, too. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of, it's a lot of like, artists. Like I only, I only, I only worship people that do melodic shit, like Sway Lee, or you know, of course Pose, of course Travis, of course you know, like I, I, I really, I, dude, I love Tyler the Creator too. Tyler the Creator's like, dude, I listen to Goblin and I listen to Bastard, I listen to Wolf, listen to Cherry Bomb, listen to fucking, you know, like the new shit that dropped. I listen to everything, bro. Like I wanted to be Tyler so bad when I was young. When I was in high school, I wanted to be Tyler so bad. Kanye too. Kanye is the god too. Eight Witch and Heartbreak changed my life. It changed the way how I wanted to sound too. I like Kanye brought that distorted shit. That distorted mumble no, that distorted melodic shit. And I wanted to, I wanted that sound and I got it. And now I have my own sound. I mean, well like now, like I'm gonna be real with y'all niggas. Like the music that's on my SoundCloud right now, you may think I'm trying to be like like, I'm going to be honest with y'all niggas, I'll name drop. Y'all may be trying to think that I'm trying to be like Juice and shit, right? Because all of them beats 
were basically like Juice World, like material type beats by Nick. I'm gonna be honest, bro. Like dead ass real. I'm being honest, like real, like hundred percent. And like the shit I got now, like there's beats that Nick made that I, they don't even sound like a Juice World song or sound like an instrumental that would, that Juice World hop on or anything like that. So like, of course I get why people compare me to Juice World. I honestly do. Like it's cool. But like, I'm just telling you right now, all my newest shit, y'all niggas ain't y'all niggas ain't ready for my new shit. I'm just saying. That's, that's all I'm saying. Like, but I mean, you can talk all day. I, I, I'm a, I'm more of a showing person than a talking, because like people just love putting me with, with him. People love putting me with Juice. <laughs> like they just love doing that. I mean, Juice is doing it. He's doing his thing. Oh yeah, Trippy, Trippy. I mean, Trippy too. Like people think, like Trippy is the only nigga that screams in his songs. Nigga, I scream my songs because it's better than killing somebody. Like when I scream, I feel like I'm screaming the pain away. It's better than like hurting somebody or some shit. But I mean, Trippy isn't the only person that started that screaming shit. Like there's been people before that that mumbled or like did melodic things over guitar melodies like x isn't the only like i fuck with x too x is like i fuck with x everybody fuck with x now but i'm just saying like x did melodies on the guitar strings and shit and people think that x was their first the first person that ever did that which is not true you know what i'm saying like people been doing that for a while people been doing that before x and when somebody does it, people are like, are you trying to be like X now? You know, like, shouldn't do that shit because people, there's so many people that are just like other people that are really big. It is. So you can't really, like, be like, oh, you took his sound. You took his sound. It sounds like this, sound like that. You can't really do that. It's a lot of famous, it's a lot of, there's a lot of underground niggas that are way better, way better than me and way better than, like, niggas that are at the top right now. So, yeah. So don't be, like, comparing niggas so fast. Like, people love comparing me to people. And it's dope because I sound like so many people to the point where I have my own style. <laughs> Lil Tracy is underrated. Tracy is hard. I'm going to cut this string off. I don't know why this shit right here. Like, my biggest song is The Heartbreak, and I made that song back in 2017, and it was, if, if you go on YouTube, it will say 2017, but when people, when people click on that song, they automatically say it sounds like Juice, which is weird to me, because I didn't even know what that was when I first made that song. It was 2017, September. It's, that song's a year old. Like, I kept deleting it and posting it on SoundCloud because of how people were like, you know, putting it down, it was before his time, people was talking shit, so I kept on re-uploading it to the point where it did get the get the shit it deserved. Now it's at 864k, I think. That shit's gonna hit a mil. That shit's really gonna hit a mil. Hold on, I gotta see it 16%. Well, like, yeah, things are gonna, like, people are gonna see, like, what I'm going to turn into. And they're going to switch and be like, oh, shit, you're really out here. You're really good. It's going to happen. It always do to people. <laughs> That's how it is. They see somebody with dreads and die there. They automatically think you're trying to be like somebody. That's how it is. When are you going to start performing? I mean, I know when I'm going to perform, but I just can't tell y'all niggas. So I'm not going to tell nobody nothing until it happens. Or maybe I'll tell y'all next week. I don't know. Or maybe I'll tell y'all the week after. Or I might tell y'all right now. You never know. I got fans in Utah, what? Where you live? I I live in Houston, but right now I'm in LA. I'm in West Hollywood right now. No, I'm in West Hollywood. Look at the view. I'm in West Hollywood right now. Oh, the shirt's fire. It's from Walmart. I got it for like 14 bucks. It's from Walmart.
Thank you, though, Frito. Friendo. Appreciate that, man. I live in the worst part of Houston. Hell, yeah, I live in Katy, my nigga. Like, that's the most boring part in Houston. I want to live in a city of Houston, but I'm going to move to Dallas anyway, so no point of moving into Houston if I'm going to be in Dallas. But Houston is like, I fuck with Houston because Houston is like the second most place that streams my music. So I need to get into the city because I feel like people will like know who I am, you know? Like, I'm in L.A. right now. I don't go out or do anything because I'm like by myself and plus I'm like sick. So I think somebody noticed me the other day when I came out of the urgent care. Like they were putting at me, they were putting at me in the car or maybe they were roasting the fuck out of me. Who knows? But somebody probably noticed me. Come to New York. I've been in New York. Arkansas. Bro, Arkansas don't fuck with me, bro. I'm from there, but Arkansas don't fuck with me, bro. Arkansas don't even pop up at the most stream. Like people that stream my music. They'll pop up in the top 50. Arkansas don't fuck with me, man. Arkansas don't fuck with me. Am I sick? Yeah, a little bit. I'm sick. Come to the north side. North side of what? I got AIDS. Okay. All right. Well, I wanted to talk to y'all for a little bit. I'm about to go ahead and head out. I got to take a piss really bad. I'm still sick. I'm drinking a lot of water. They prescribe me some crazy shit. I'm taking Mucinex, Zyrtec, and Flonase, nigga. Allergy, nigga. Allergy gang. You know what I'm saying? That's how the shit go. Um, are you performed post Malone? All right. I can't say nothing about that. But anyway, guys, hope you guys have a nice day. Love y'all. Peace.